Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh by Shem Abishai by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors be unto the apostles and the elders. And salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To the uh, confusion of faith joined unto our ranks. The hopeful elect that are doing this work in truth and sincerity. All right. To the the uh, the aqua for listening and learning. To you I say Shalom. Um. This is your brother Malcolma from the uh, branch of GMS or the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And uh, this is a video called Part 3 Songs of Solomon White and Ruddy Question Mark Jeremiah Ethiopian Skin Analogy Explained. And, and by his Shulamite queen. And they. My beloved is white and ruddy. And they go heavy. Chiefest among into explaining that that they were dark complected which is an easy thing to do because they try to make the word white refer to complexion and white was talking about pure all right and they try to make the uh, uh, ruddy which is really talking about dark brownish skin the redness that's in the hues of brown skin brown earth like when it says the skin is like brass there's an image of a of a of a brown skin so-called Negro holding brass and it's got it has red hues in it. So they do a wonderful job at disproving the lie about the whiteness, so-called whiteness of, of the Israelites. But where they but where they mess up at, all right, where they go where they go off is is that they try to make Japheth the so-called white man, and they show you a map in this, you know, when they're talking about Noah and his three sons. And they show you Saudi Arabia and circle that whole landmass as the sons of Shem, and they sh and they and they show you that uh, uh you know the sons of Ham were in Africa and and um and then they circle uh Europe and east of uh of 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 uh of what Saudi Arabia is that portion of the so-called Mideast, and they they show you uh, and they circle that and then they have and then of course the faces that appear in it. Are are you know the the Hawaiians you know which which they had right they those truly are the sons of Japheth but they also have the so called white man in there and the so called white man who was Esau Edom he was not not European all right he's not and they're going off with that and Japheth has nothing to do uh, uh, with with the so called white man and this is where that false doctrine of the uh, that Esau is the Arabs. That's why people push that that foolishness. Okay, so uh, let's listen to a little bit of what they have to say. And dazzling, it should come as a little surprise that the original Hebrew word Adam, red, related to Adama, earth. So presumably. So let's correct that. Adam had nothing to do with red. It was Ad It was Adawam, and they're not. Acknowledging that. So that was misinformation just that quick. Adama, meaning the ground, she's true about that. It had nothing to do with red. Alright? Those are different shades of brown. Sand, silt, and clay. And people's skin colors uh, look a lot like that. And those are all different shades of brown. From a light brown to a medium reddish brown to a dark blue, blue, bluish brown. And you, and you can match human beings up to that. To these three colors all right Adama meant ground Adam came from Adama Adawam means red different different word so this this is off and they have a woman uh, speaking when it should be a man a woman is not permitted to speak and to the church red like earth was not a reference to a pinkish color it would be more accurate to say reddish brown. There it this is. This does not support white and ruddy, but supports dark. This interpretation is supported by the word Adama in Akkadian, meaning dark, and Udma in Arabic, meaning brown like the soil or very dark in reference to complexion. That's true. Illuminating the Darkness, Blacks and North Africans in Islam by Hadid Akande, Taha Publishers, 2012, pages 15 to 
16. The word which has been translated white in the King James Version and as radiant in the New International Version and dazzling in the New Living Translation But see, even in the King James Version is the Hebrew the, the, the color white it was occurs referring four times in the Bible. The, the Hebrew word white was, 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 was referring to clear. It wasn't referring to it wasn't talking about actual complexion. That's just it. Being made white was talking about being pure, not complexion. There's no such thing as white people. And it's translated twice as dazzling and once as scorching, making the former the primary interpretation. The translation of white does not occur anywhere else in the Bible and seems to be opportunistic. We therefore conclude that the more accurate translation is dark and dazzling, which goes well with locks that are like clusters of dates and black. Solomon is also described by his queen in Solomon chapter 5, verse 15, as his countenance is as Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. Lebanon was and still is a white-topped mountain, but since Solomon was clearly black-haired, this interpretation would not make sense. It, it, it agreed. Agreed. Lebanon and cedars were, and to a degree still are, synonymous. We are told of cedar, repeatedly mentioned by the sacred writers. The wood of it is solid, beautiful, inclining to a brown color, and possessing a strong aromatic smell. A gazetteer of the Old and New Testament, to which is added a natural history of the Bible, volume two by William Fleming. Edinburgh Printing and Publishing Company, 1838, page 541. We notice that inclined marketing response to Trump. So, <clears throat> um, let's talk about Jeremiah 14, how, how people in the sun trauma or, or, or when they're hungry, they get darker. All right. And this is also could be someone who's been wearing a shirt and only their head was exposed. To the to, to to the elements and they actually got darker uh, you know as a result of that all right um, so all these technical terms and science that you're trying to throw in really is is of no importance the truth about the fact is that the discrepancy in here is Jeff and Lisa, and they are not acknowledging let me close this door um, they are not acknowledging the truth about the history that I'm about to read. And this should be elementary at this time. Okay? Because there's been more than enough images shared in this. And clearly these, these, uh, these scriptures stand for themselves. But, uh, they want to ignore this, this history, which is found in the book of Maccabees, which is also found in secular history. You can match them. I keep telling people over and over again, my, my, my apostles, my teachers have been telling you for much longer than I, that you could, you could pick up I mean, uh, encyclopedias and you could match up the history in the, in the Apocrypha, or in the whole Bible for that matter, all right? But the, the history in the Apocrypha matches up in secular history and many movies and plays and things that you've seen. Okay? But this is a, a first Maccabees, the first chapter, starting in chapter one. Alright? And it reads, and it and it happened that after that Alexander, the son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Kittim has smitten Darius, the king of the Persian Medes, that he reigned first in his stead, his bloodline, his race, all right? The first over Greece. So he reigned, so the Edomites reigned over Japheth, okay? Japheth was driven out of, of Europe. That's why there's so many of them in the islands in different places, because uh, Esau, Edom, through, through Alexander, who's mentioned in the Bible, in Daniel, in the book of Daniel, 
you know, uh, that ram, that, that goat, okay, that took over, okay? It says, um, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. So he was going throughout what you call Europe, all right, in different parts of the so-called Middle East and driving people out. All right, and making them sub, they be, people begin to be uh, subjugated under him. He even allowed some people to keep, uh, 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 you know, their their lands, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but they became tributaries. All right, as he conquered, his army grew, and he went through the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations. All right, and so he was going all throughout Europe and the East, conquering. In so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he, ex he was exalted, and his heart was lifted up, and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings, who became tributaries unto him. And after these things they fell, he fell sick, and perceived that he should die, wherefore he called his servants, such as were honorable men, and, and had been brought with him from his youth, brought up with him through his youth, and parted his kingdom among them while he was yet alive. All right. And so this became that pale presence in Europe, that pale presence in the Middle East, that pale presence in the north of Africa. OK. So Alexander reigned 12 years. Right. And it was divided up between his four generals. Which I often forget all four now. I know we got Cassandra, Ptolemy, uh, Seleucus. And, 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 and I forget the other last one's name. All right. But it was divided between them. OK. And so Alexander reigned 12 years, then died. And, and his servants bear rule everyone in, in his place. And after his death, they all put on crowns upon themselves so that their sons after them many years and evils will multiply in the earth. Evils came into the earth when Esau Edom took over. Right. Because when we go into the scriptures. You find that that the Maccabees were at war with the Edomites. The Edomites had became were begin calling themselves Grecians and calling themselves Romans, and that's why you got these people today who very ignorantly try to refer to white people as with their Greek and Romans. So therefore, that makes them Japhet, and the true sons of Japhet were driven out of their lands and they were taken over by so-called white people. And that's just the, uh, and that's when evils were planted into the earth. And matter of fact, it says the very next verse, verse, verse uh, 10, it says, And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes. So the, uh, the son of Antiochus, the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in, in the 137th year in the kingdom of the Greeks. So at this point, the Edomites were calling themselves Greeks. The same way they call themselves Americans today, where they call themselves New Zealanders or Australians or Canadians. And they're none of those things. They're the sons of Edom. And you still have these, these people who ignorantly and, and very, very uh, uh, unwisely teach the doctrine that, you know, that, uh, that they're Japheth. And that's, that's just so, that's so far from the truth. All right, and they're and they're misleading the people. All right, because there there it is right there. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So she circled here for Shem, and she's showing you pale people. And then they circled here. The red up here is Japhet, and then they circle the this over here is Ham. Okay, let's see if I could uh. Get that portion to play. Africans after the great flood. His children, Ham, Shem, and Japhet. There we go. You see what I mean? So they got Japhet and they're showing you Edomites as Japhet, Asians as Japhet. And that's so far from the truth. That's a lie because Esau, Edom. All right, our sons of Shem. All right, 
and they're they're pretty right. And even they showed you Gad as 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 a, uh, as, as a son of Shem. They're correct there, but this is off. All right, this is off. All right, they even showing you Ishmael here. So that goes to show you how confused they are because on this image here, they got Ishmael as as as, as sons of Shem. I mean, as, as uh, well, I guess they did. Those look like Edomites to me. West Asians like the Elamites and Black Syrians who lived there before the coming of the Japhetites to that area. Nimrod, some of Kush followed them later. This led to a gradual whitening Wait. of the West Asian illusion. The first biblical humans in Genesis lived in Eden near Havilah, Kush, and Ashur. Correct and agreed. Africa. Noah was the only survivor from these East Africa. Correct and agreed. His children, Ham, Shem, and Japhet, were also East Africans. But, the but that is where, going back to this image here, that's where the discrepancy lies. Alright? They're including, and this is why you have this doctrine of people trying to uh, save Esau, Edom. Alright? There are no prophecies. You're looking at the queen and the pope. And these Edomites over here, and there are no prophecies that said that that sh that Japheth would do to Jacob. All right, as we see here in the middle, what these people did. The prophecies of the things that were done to 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 Jacob were promised to be done, were prophesied to be done by Edom, not Japheth. So these Edomites who are actually uh, when the paleness came into the earth and the first came out red, that's in Genesis. The 25th chapter when Jacob and Esau was, were born. All right. So that pale flesh, that paleness came out. What you're looking at to the far right, that's also a son of Shem. That's what made Esau so special because he was the first in the world to come out looking like the people you see on this far right side. And this is where the discrepancy is with these people. And then they try to show you Arab, uh, Arabs in Saudi Arabia looking like Edomites. In, the, in the, the diagram after that. And that's wrong and that's off. So with that, you know, I hope this was an enlightening and uplifting lesson. Call Halal Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Bashem Wa Ababa Ba.